What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between? It is, you know, your girl, Miss B. Um, you know how we do, grab your vices. Uh, We're going to chill out for a good 30 minutes or so and um, get straight to it. This is episode, uh, what episode this is? This is actually episode number 23 uh, with Straightforward with Miss B. Um, my weekend, well, first, let me just say, Today I am alone on the po- podcast. You know who, Mr. AG, is not here today, but he wanted me to tell everybody, um, you know, hello. But he took a last-minute tri- trip to Florida, I believe Orlando, um, so he's not going to be um, doing the pod with me today, and that's quite all right. You know me, um, this is my podcast, and... I just, I'm going to always make it do what it do. Um, But we'll wait to see him whenever he decides to um, return. Hopefully next week. Um, But if not, then, you know, we'll see him when we see him. Um, As far as my weekend, you know, we guys, you guys, we start off with the weekly recap. My weekend was pretty good, pretty chill. Got some shopping um, in um, over the weekend. uh, Bought some Gucci flip flops. Not not those ones that Future talks about, but um, just some, um, you know, the Gucci flip-flops that come in between your, it's kind of like, what is like the slides, you know, the, like the flip-flops that stick, the ones that stick between your toes. But anyway, I had a situation where I, I was at a business meeting over the weekend and um, I decided to wear, I decided to wear these heels. Um, you know, now it's like the mule style sandals that you kind of just stick your foot in that doesn't have like a strap or anything like that on the back you just slide your feet in you know those like the kitten heel style so I had those on but these were quite kitten heels it still had a big heel now mind you you guys I'm one of those individuals as far as when it comes to dressing and I've always been this way um I'm pretty much very extremely versatile in my dress either you know I like to dress down some days like I you know I try to stay updated you know as far as like the latest sneakers um I love I love hats snapbacks fedoras um bucket hats any type of hats I've always just had this Fenny T4 um for hats um I think I I think I may get it for my grandma my grandma loves hats as well um, but so some days you may see me, I'm one of those females that you can take me anywhere. I have clothes in my closet appropriate for, you know, board meetings. Um, if I need to go to court one day, I got my suits ready. Um, if I want to just go chill with the girls, go to a concert, um, you know, have a, go out, have some drinks, go to like a lounge, a bar. I have, you know, nice little clothes and heels for that. Um, if it's time for me to just hit the street and I'm, you know, in my laid back mood, I'll have on, you know, I'll have on some, um, like I said, my sneakers, a t-shirt, I'll put on a cap or whatever the case may be. Um, so this particular day for the meeting, you know, I decided to wear a, you know, wear just like a, not a sundress, like a little flowy, flowy dress. And I had slid on those heels, thought I was cute, prancing around, man, I tell you the truth. I don't know if it's because I haven't worn heels for quite some time now, meaning that, um, meaning that as far as like my career goes, it's been, it's been like years since I've had to like, literally, it's not like I go in an office, like everything I do, I do from, you know, my home, um, as far as making money, I do it from my house. But anyway, um, Back in the day, going to, you know, having to wake up in the morning, drive to an uh, office building and, you know, you just have to put on that corporate attire. Um, I used to kind of wear heels a lot, you know, going into the office. But um, since, shoot, it's been since maybe 2013 now. Um, The last time I stepped into like an office building, um, I haven't had the need to just put on heels on an everyday basis or anything like that. Um, So I have my flats on and everything. So I just come, I I said, you know what, you know, I'm going to wear these heels to this meeting and shoot. By the time 
got halfway to halfway through the meeting, mind you, my feet started killing me in those shoes. I don't know who else <laughs> if the for the ladies that's out there listening in with me, um, you know how it is. It's just unfortunately you can you can buy the, the shoe in the right size, but just depending on the style of the shoe, um you know, you may have those take after about an hour, two hours, shoot, your feet start killing you, man. So that's how it was for me. So I had already had it in my mind, like, hey, you know, I'm probably not going to last a full day with these heels on. So luckily I was in Buckhead uh, where my meeting was, and I decided to, you know, I'm like, I'm going to go over here to Atlantic Small real quick. I already knew in my mind what I wanted to go um, and buy in Linux. So I wanted to go to Gucci. Um, I have like a uh, concierge type of, uh, I guess, you know, person in Gucci that assists me. Um, so I went in there, spoke with her, and, uh, yeah, and I purchased the flip-flop. So you know how it is when you run, you know, spend the money, child. See, going in the mall for me, I was with my friend Nene. Going in the mall for me, she's one of those people that likes to roam the mall. Like, she literally pretty much lives in the mall. Um, I had my days when I was younger, when I was a shopaholic like that. The older, I, older I've gotten, um, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't need to shop like that, you know? So, um, anytime I do decide to go in the mall, um, I know exactly what I'm going in there for. I know what stores that I'm going to or, you know, even if it's just one store and I go into it and I buy what I need to buy and I get straight out of the mall. So that's that's how I do. Um, but as far as like my meeting goes, if anybody want to hear about that real quickly, um, my meeting um, that I had, basically, I have a um, close friend that I've known for, you know, for years. Shout out to Rod. Um, he he wants to kind of elevate his brand online. He he is not a um, person that is um, heavy on social media at all. Um, I think he bar he has an Instagram, but he barely has that. Um, but there are some like um, very valuable information, whether it's um, spiritual information or if it's financial information that he wants to you know, start getting out there and, and, you know, telling the public about, um, and, um, you know, like I said, I've known him for, for years. Um, he wants me to basically kind of be the executive producer of his social media content. So to help him grow his brand and he know that, you know, of course I am very kind of fluent when it comes to, um, things in the media and how the internet works and how, you know, uh, social media works with algorithms algorithms and how to post videos and things of that nature. Um, so he wants me to help him, um, do that and, and grow his brand. So, um, him and I sat down for a meeting to discuss that. Um, so, you know, so you guys can look out for that, but I'll, you know, once, once we get it truly up and popping and everything, and he approves my proposal, um, then I will formally introduce it that way. You know, I can use the podcast as an outlet as well to, um, help get his brand out there. But anyway, so enough about that. Let me get into this. Uh, let's get into what we are talking about today. All right. So I don't know if you guys be on social media or within the last week was on there and you saw a video. It was a recorded video um of a woman who was on a podcast don't ask me the name of the podcast I don't even know what the topic was I don't even know know the name of the female that was speaking um however if I ever find out what that is in the future you know I'm all about giving people their credit um I don't mind you know telling you guys what was her name but anyway here's what she um, said, I tried to find the actual video. I should have saved it that day, but I did not. So excuse me. So I'm just kind of paraphrasing um, the gist of what her video was about. So basically she was stating that um, she felt as though because of like insecurities that healthier women or BBWs or, you know, 
BBW, stick women, big women, whatever you, fat women, whatever you want to call it. Um, she felt as though BBWs um, are placed in a position when it comes to relationships where they have to, mind you, she said have to pretty much take care of their man. And it is because of their size. It is because of, um, because of insecurities that they may have. They may feel, you know, they may feel less than um, in comparison to skinnier, more shapely, you know, women. Um, they may, she felt this though, BBWs basically, you know, nine times out of ten may not have the most success when it comes to relationships and holding on to long-lasting relationships. Um, therefore, that is another thing that may cause a BBW um, to be to be um, the female that will be the one that will um, be willing to financially take care of a man and do everything for them, you know, do the whole wifey role at home for them. Um, and I just felt like what a ignorant, ignorant, stereotypical, dumb statement made by this woman on this podcast. Mind you, on that particular, um, I believe it was on Instagram, on the Instagram post that I saw, they ate her ass up, including myself, in the comments. In the comments. Now, what I wanted to touch on is that we're going to take this opportunity, take this opportunity, and I wanted to take this opportunity to dispel to dispel some of these um, stereotypes when it comes to thicker woman. Now, before I go into that, um, a bit of transparency here. One, I am of thicker nature as far as my body type. Now, I'm not considered BBW, but I am thicker. If you just want to get a picture in your mind, uh, for those who may be listening, um, most of you guys don't probably don't know what I look like, but I'm like 12 size. If you want to put it in size, like a 12, 14 size, I'm more heavier at the top than the bottom. Like my titties is like a what 38, 40, um, which overall makes me look bigger than what I really am. Um, but so that's my transparency there. So, um, you know, I'm speaking from a place of, being a woman that is on the thicker side of things, right? So the stereotypes, what in the question, the first question that I have is like, why do people such as this woman, you know, believe in these in these false stereotypes? It just it doesn't make sense to me. So let's break it down a little bit for the people in the back. Number one, okay. Just because you are on the thicker side or you considered a BBW um, definitely does not mean that you hold any insecurities. There are there are plenty of BBWs or fat girls or whatever you want to call it out here in this world that are extremely confident. I know some personally, I've seen them. They are extremely confident. You may take somebody such as, say, a Lizzo. You know, sometimes she could be a bit problematic, but if you just want to look at a celebrity per se, and she's the, you know, she's the one that just the first one come to my mind at this point, is because she is confident. Lizzo would shake her ass, damn near butt naked, wear her bikinis, got a stomach at now whether you like that or not whether or not you 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 know you may call that sexy or not you know everybody has a preference but as far as 
her being, you know, a human being and just having her own personality traits. And it seems to me and, you know, the mass um, majority of the public is that Lizzo is a very confident woman, right? Um, so for when, so when women make these stereotypical comments about women or have these false sense of um, understanding of a certain group of women, you know, it just makes it just makes not only black women look stupid because the women's comment was just so fucking stupid. It's like, did somebody hurt your feelings? Did you have a man and your man ended up marrying a big girl? Like, what is your problem? Or were you just stating that because, you know, these days everybody state things because they want to rile the public up. They they need this clout in order to, you know, get their business or podcast or show off the ground. And they know that cr- controversy always brings in the viewers and the listeners, you know, so that could have been, you know, the reason why this lady made this very ignorant statement. But whatever the case um, may be, we are talking about it today. All right. So um, my other question that I have is like, why do when it comes to women's sizes, um, there are, you know, most times when you see people that are talking about fat girls or you see people making snide remarks about BBWs, it would be of somebody who is smaller in size and stature, right? Um, I don't want to generalize and say, you know, skinny women or thinner women are the ones that do this. Um, but just look at the people, like I said, who always have something to say about the thicker woman or the fat woman or big woman or the BBW, however you want to call it. Um, why is it that, why is it that, that they believe if you are skinnier or thinner, that somehow that they are the cream of the crop, you know, they are the, end all be all they are the ones that men are you know ultimately attracted to you know they sometimes they may feel as though hey you know I'm skinnier I'm not fat I have no rolls I have no stomach I got no extra um, cellulite anything like that I know I know the men want me because I'm that girl so let me dispel that 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 narrative okay (laughs) <laughs> or that thought process. Okay. Men, men have, uh, men like whatever they like. And as we all know that men will pretty much, you know, finuck whatever they like. It doesn't matter what size you are. It doesn't matter your skin tone. It doesn't matter your height, it doesn't matter, um, you know, um, your financial status, it doesn't matter what your credit score is, it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter where you drive, it doesn't matter where you what you wear, it doesn't matter, you know, how many times you take vacation a year, it doesn't matter if you have kids or not, it doesn't matter. A man will mess with anything for the most part and you know a lot of times you may see situations where people are married right or they in a long-term relationship and the man steps out on on the you know steps out on the woman in the relationship they go outside, they have a little fun, they start to cheat, they sleep around with other people. A lot of times when you look at these other people and you find out who they are, they may not necessarily be, um, you know, depending on the confidence that you have within yourself and how you look and things of that nature, they may not necessarily be to you on the same pedestal as you are. 
they may you may think that they uglier than you or that you may think that they are bomb and you got your stuff together and how could he just step out on me you know with this trash you know regardless of what a man is going to date whomever that they want and men have all kinds of preferences skinny women women with long hair you know, light skin versus dark skin women. Some men like dark skin women. Some men like big girls. Some men like big asses. Some men like women with big titties. They don't really care about the ass. You know, some men, it's just men have all types of preferences. So never as a woman should you go around in this world thinking that you are the end all be all. You should never think that you are the cream of the crop. You should never believe in your mind that you are the only type of woman that a man will go for because you will be, you will be 99% of the chance completely wrong. So let's get into something else, right? Because, and we're talking about specifically BBWs, right? BBWs are liked by men. And that's just facts. Now, I didn't say just men you know, the species of man across the globe, they all like BBWs. No, but men do like BBWs, okay? Now, the question is, why is this so damn hard to believe? Why is this so hard to believe? Why is this so hard to believe? Do y'all know how many skinnier, smaller, thinner women that I have come across in my lifetime thus far that that have insecurities? I mean you talking about insec I mean so many insecurities. If I myself just had to make an overall, you know, overall judgment of the percentage of, uh, you know, fat girls versus skinny girls when it comes to having insecurities. And from my own personal experience, I've seen skinnier women have securities and deal with those type of issues more than the fat girls. For whatever reason, the skinny, you know, like I said, the smaller um, women may have insecurities. I don't know. I can't dive into that. Um, but just being a woman just in general or a girl in general. Um, yes. You know, thinner women, they have. they and, and mind you, you know, they may share the same type of insecurity. They may feel as though they're too small. They're not thick enough. You know, they don't have a plump butt or they might have small top you know, small titties and they feel like their titties should be bigger. Like, you know, there's so many things that they can feel with themselves. You know what I'm saying? That they, you know, they, 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 they are, they feel down. You know what I mean? They're not in a good mood because they have these, you know, insecurities as far as their looks go, or they may not even have, they might not be financially stable. Like, it's, it's, I wish people would understand that problems can help. I mean, problems can come from anybody. Insecurities can come from anybody. No matter what you look like, no matter what size you are, no matter what race that you are, insecurities are within everybody. Okay. You know, so never go around in this world 
And I just want to say this because I don't want to dwell on this topic too long. People, before you go on social media or you go on your podcast, and I'm going to even say this to myself because I know some days I'd be a little lit and, you know, certain things will come out of my mouth and I might think about it later or listen to it, um, listen to it later on and be like, damn, why did I say that? You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, please watch what you say, watch what you type um, and just be cognizant of the information um that you spew out of your mouth because or your feelings or these these dumb stereotypes um that you guys you know spew out of your mouth please be cognizant of that because you know sometimes it could just be come off wrong it could be ignorant you know so definitely watch out and then like i said you know you you guys put some respect on their name put some respect on the bbws the fat girls the thick girls the voluptuous girls put some respect on their name they out here doing their thing they got money they got cars they got you know good jobs they live in their life they live in their best motherfucking life you know what i'm saying and it's somebody for everybody it's somebody for everybody but don't go around being so ignorant to the fact that you believe men don't like that because they fucking do. Men do like that. Now, I don't know specifically what reason and AG isn't here to kind of give me a, a male perspective, but you know, it could be various reasons why men like BBWs, you know, they might feel like, shoot, a BBW, they food going to taste a lot much, a whole lot better than a skinny girl. Shoot, a BBW going to keep me warm at night, especially in those winter months. A BBW just take care of her body better. Like she smell like, she smell like, uh, I don't know, a cinnamon roll. Like her body just have this vanilla taste to it and it's, it just looks and tastes so good or something. You know, it could be all kind of reasons why men like bigger women, but they do. So people out there, don't be ignorant to the fact um, that, you know, shit, men like big women now. Never, ever, ever in your life think different. Okay, so let me move on to do 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 do. I need to figure out a segue like um, instrumental to play when I switch topics. I think that would be great uh, for this podcast. We'll see. Um, I did want to talk about speaking of, you know, people on the thicker side. Let's talk about a rapper Saucy Santana. OK, so some old tweets surfaced um, recently online where in the tweets um, back in the day, I think the tweets came from maybe like um maybe five years ago or so where he basically was talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z's child, Blue Ivy. He called Blue Ivy nappy headed. Then he compared Blue Ivy hair to Kim Kardashian's and Kanye's um, daughter Northwest. And basically, you know, was praising Northwest hair versus Blue Ivy's hair. So this sent everybody in the uproar, you know, the beehive, Beyonce's cousin, Beyonce cousin, I believe her name might be Angie. She posted something, um, just a slight little shade, shady post. Um, she posted something on her IG stories. Oh, she posted that song, um, brown, pretty brown girls. I can't remember the words, but anyway, she posted that just kind of slick throwing shade at Saucy Santana. Saucy Santana basically started responding to people, um, on Twitter, uh, basically, you know, just trying to justify, Hey, you know, I was young. I didn't know no better. Y'all got to stop trying to cancel people for these old tweets basically he really didn't give a fuck he have not you know made a formal apology public apology which i think that there should be a public apology if you posted those tweets which are public 
calling Blue Ivy nappy-headed, then Saucy Santana, you definitely need to make a public apology. Don't feel as though, hey, um, I think one of the reasons he was stating, like, who am I? I don't need to apologize to y'all talking about, you know, the people in the comments and all of that. Um, he'll make apology, I guess, in private to the people who he needs to make an apology to. But no, nigga, you need to make a public apology. You said the shit publicly. I don't know. Saucy clearly needs a PR person, need a publicist quickly on the line because that mouth is going to be the downfall of his career. Okay? So, Saucy, I like you, but you definitely, you definitely need to get it together real quick, you know, on that because, baby, you know how the beehive is. Beyonce will end a career. Please believe that. And Jay-Z most definitely will end a career. Okay? So you on, you bubbling up, baby. You getting your superstar status. You on the road. Lotto took you on tour. You gaining more fans. I mean, you you becoming a household name here. You 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 appearing on the front cover of magazines. You know, you you done came out of Florida and well, I forgot where you from, Tallahassee or whatever. You came out of Florida. You're making your ways for the LGBTQIA community, and I applaud that very much. Like I said, I like Saucy Santana. But it's some things like why make it worse when you could just make it like you really didn't have to start going back, you know, going off on the people in the comments and, you know, responding to people. You could have just said, my bad, you know, this happened, blah, 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 two years ago. I never wanted to be, you know, I never wanted to – uh you know, talk about, not wanted to talk about, but you didn't mean no harm. I was young. I ain't know no, ba- you know, just one of them basic, basic um apologies or whatever you could have done instead of just going off on people like, come on, man. And then he'd had the nerve to one, release a new song and using a Beyonce, a little quick Beyonce um sample at the beginning, the song called booty, 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 booty. Like, come on now. And then you performed in Houston too recently. Like y'all young people don't have no respect for y'all just do not have no respect. You have no respect. And I hope Beyonce should go off on you in a song or do something, child. Do something. But hey, hmm, hmm. I wonder how that apology going to go behind the scenes, child. But anyway, so it's 33 minutes, you guys. I'm here, like I said, by myself. I can't continue to talk all day long, but I choose not to. I just wanted to touch on that. You guys, like I said, you definitely need to start, um, you know, just respect everybody. Don't get on the Internet making these stupid-ass, ignorant-ass comments um, about about people's children, about people's uh, weight, their size, like you guys, all of you guys just sound dumb. And this even apply to me. I may make a dumb statement, you know, at some point <laughs> or have made a dumb, dumb statement in the past. So believe me, I'm not perfect. I never, ever, ever, ever. And you can ask anybody that knows me. I do like my shit to be tight when it comes to like my work goals. Um, but as far as just me as a human being, I'm very humble. Um, I don't take myself that serious um, in certain circumstances. And I can always critique and check my own self. That's one thing. I t- I'm not oblivious to the things that, you know, the flaws that I have, the, the, the um, things that I may say that may not necessarily be right. Like I said, hey, at any given moment, my mouth just spews anything and sometimes I never know if it's hurting someone else or not. Um, but, hey, I can critique and check myself. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people out there need to do that as well. Um, but anyway, let's get up out of here. So as we do each week, we want to thank everybody for listening in at Straightforward. That's S-T-R, the number eight F wd with miss b thank you for listening to my podcast i really appreciate it i appreciate all the feedback as well that i get from people 
um online who have listening they give me tips like i said i'm all about you know just improving and continuing i'm glad you guys listen in at episode 23 um don't forget to subscribe to our streaming platforms we on spotify um we are ap- everywhere apple podcast google podcast stitcher audible amazon music we're everywhere so definitely follow us there um and don't forget we're on social media on all platforms um at str8 fwd msb twitter facebook instagram tiktok um follow us there as well and until next time